Hi folks, talking about Libya again, you know how the president of these here United States of America, that empty suit President Obama, inserted United States forces into the Libyan war. So Mr. President, is this Obama's war for oil? I mean, you good folks said that Iraq war was Bush's war for oil. So is that what we're doing here? But it's not so much it's oil for the United States, it's oil for our European allies. I have a link in the description to a chart that will show you how it, uh, the oil fields in Libya mostly go to European interests. So are we fighting for oil for the Europeans? But I'm confused here. Many Europeans keep telling us, we do not need the United States to help us out or protect us. The United States get laws. Yet, it was the Europeans calling on the United States to initiate and start and lead this initiative into uh, Libya. Now the president says, well, we're going to turn this over to NATO. Really? That's subterfuge, because we all know NATO is the United States. Take the United States out of NATO, and you do not have NATO. You good folks in Europe were ill-equipped and unable to involve yourselves in the uh, Bosnia-Herzegovina-Yugoslavia conflict some, what was it, 10, 15 years ago, you could not act unless the United States inserted itself. And it's the same situation here with Libya. Why, we're taking the lead now. Yeah, after we did all the work and we're going to continue to do the behind-the-scenes work. Ha! <laughs> what kind of a joke is that? And, and here's the interesting part. The rebels in Libya, who are they? They're Al-Qaeda, that's who they are, by their own admission. And also another fact, these good rebels, these good people, are rounding up sub-Saharan Africans, black Africans. They're incarcerating them because, now understandably, no, not understandably, Gaddafi there has used a lot of sub-Saharan Africans in his war to fight against the rebels. But these are innocent people. They're being rounded up. They're being raped or forced out of the country. You don't know who is what in Libya and we don't need to be supporting our enemy. Now listen to me. Gaddafi does need to be murdered and eliminated. Not so much for what he's doing now, for what he did in Lockerbie. What was that, in 1988? Lockerbie, Pan Am Flight 103, blew up over the United Kingdom, killing around 270 people, most of them Americans. That's why he needs to be on the business end of a cruise missile. And that's all we need to involve is one cruise missile on his empty head. But we do not need to be into Libya or into this war because coming up out of the ashes is not going to be a pro-democracy, pro-Western regime. <laughs> all right, folks. Oh, incidentally, Mr. President, what is your exit strategy? <laughs> we'll see you. God bless you. God bless America. And God bless the nation you happen to be in. See ya.